Uh, let me see if there's other things. Okay, I can. While well, we're kind of waiting for other things to come in, um, I can kind of talk about reading because I know reading is always the the big one, the big question. Reading. What to say about it? I think it's the hardest section of the test. I don't think that's controversial. Um, partly because it's based on the reading that you've done or not done over your entire academic life, sort of the sum total of all of those reading experiences, plus related to that vocabulary that you've absorbed over, the, over time, your knowledge of standard English conventions and your knowledge of, ha- of idioms and other tropes and rhetorical moves used by different authors in certain cases, like all that stuff, all that kind of accumulated knowledge, much of which, if you've read a lot, you may not even know that you know, but you sort of absorb kind of through the process of building up that that muscle of reading over time. Um, and so it's not something that can be sort of improved rapidly, at least in terms of the skill of reading. Like the skill of reading, your not your vocabulary knowledge. That's not something you can improve in two weeks or four weeks or two months. But what you can improve in the short term for reading is SAT reading, which is a very specific set of tasks with a very specific set of rules. So whatever your reading or vocabulary knowledge is, good, not so good, whatever, whatever it's at, you can still get better at the SAT reading test by learning the test and sort of getting used to what it's up to, getting used to the question types, getting used to the tricks and the traps and all that stuff. So in terms of the medium term, long term, you know, the more that you read every day, if you can read every day, read something from a newspaper or magazine, whatever, something of quality, at least once in a while, that builds up that muscle. But in the short term, learning how to attack these questions, you know, what the traps are and the choices, all that stuff, that's, that can make a difference in the short term. Um, you may eventually hit a ceiling based on your vocabulary like vocabulary and reading skills. Hard to say where that ceiling is. You won't really know until you, you try. But definitely improving reading uh, can be done that way. And so that's why I think the most important way to improve SAT reading is to do SAT reading. Do time sections, review your answers thoroughly. If you need help, get help from a friend or a teacher or a tutor or videos or books or whatever. But that process of doing SAT reading, evaluating your errors, trying again next time, there's not much of a substitute for that.